tail of the tape for our next contest. This one at 84 kilos. We go, we're going to stick with kickboxing rules. Mohamed Shushan against Einar's Goldbergs. Let's send it up to the ring and Ritzis Kuzmenka for the official announcements. Ladies and gentlemen, this is KOK World Series 2021 in Riga, Latvia, and we are live. KOK Super Fight, Blue Corner, fighter representing Canada, Mohamed Sushan. Well, Shushan is an interesting character. I believe originally from Libya, but he's based in Turkey. He's been living in Turkey for uh, quite a number of years. I believe he has Canadian citizenship and he goes to train in Holland. And uh, well, I believe he was actually doing some preparing with Mike's gym and also in Spain, if I, if I remember correctly. So he's a true citizen of the world, <laughs> is Mohamed Shushan. Uh, but if, if he's been training with Mike's gym in preparation uh, for this fight, then you know that he's a character that needs to be taken seriously. This guy has uh, come here for one reason and one reason only, and that is to get a quick, decisive, violent victory, as is usually the game plan for a lot of those Dutch-style kickboxers. And Mike Passanier on the way down to the ring here with his fighter. Mohamed Sushan, Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, red corner, fight representing Latvia, Einars Goldbergs. Boy, look at the twisted nose there of Einars Goldbergs. You know, he's been through some wars. We've seen him in a couple here in KOK. He's had two fights in the promotion and he is one and one. A lot of people are calling this guy the Latvian Bill Goldberg. 30 years old, 183 centimeters tall. Both these guys are uh, very similar on paper as far as uh, age and experience and height and weight and everything else. So it's all gonna come down to who is uh, prepared better and who wants it more? And those are the kind of fights that I like. There's very good matchmaking here. And uh, who's hungrier? We're about to find out. Einars Goldbergs, Latvia. Ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of the blue corner, 34 years old, official height 185 centimeter, official weight 84 kilogram, his professional record, four wins, three losses, representing Mike Jim, Canada, Muhammad Shusha. Fighting out of the red corner, 30 years old, official height 183 centimeter, official weight 84 kilogram. His professional record, five wins, three losses. Latvian champion, representing AK team, Latvia, Einars Goldbergs. Yeah. Rings referee Rafaelis Pashaevas, KOK rules, three rounds, three minutes each. Round one. Here we go, touch of gloves. 84 kilos is the weight limit. Whoa. 
I'll tell you what, from what I've seen and what I know about these guys, they're two nonsense, two no nonsense kind of fighters here. And you can look at the way that Shushan is just bullying his way inside and looking to throw some power. Goldberg's, I have a feeling he may fight fire with fire too. I've seen him really get aggressive from time to time inside the ring. So I am not, I don't think he'll be backing down but he's watching very carefully now and studying the approach here of Mohamed Shushan. Shushan actually is almost a little bit out of control here. I think it is, as long as he can reel it back a little bit and not get too out of line. Oh my, that right hand though is devastating. Oh, and now Goldberg's coming back with something. Tags him with a left hand at the tail end of that combination. Look out. Half the time expired. Boy, did he just narrowly miss with that left hand. Digging downstairs. Well, Shushan, I think he's in danger here of punching himself out. He's, he's putting so much behind all of those shots that if he, it, it's almost like you're putting all your eggs in one basket here. If he doesn't KO Goldberg's, which is still very possible, then uh, he just may, you know, have all the wind taken out of his sails here. And that's when you're really in trouble. Nice shot there in return from the Latvian. Sticks him with a jab. Now he seems like he's calming down a little bit now. Seems like it's all or nothing with this guy. He's either going all out, looking to unleash death and destruction, or he's just kind of hanging out. <laughs> it's one or the other. This guy only knows one direction, and it's 110%. Oh, nice knee and a right hand there by Goldberg. Die! End of round one. Well, what a round that was. I had to move all the way over halfway down the ring so that Mike didn't splash me with that <laughs> water. I know, I know better. When I found out I was doing commentary in the blue corner, I was like, uh oh, I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna get a shower when Big Mike comes out here between rounds. But uh, I'll tell you what, a very interesting uh, first round here. I, I think we're gonna find out a couple of things real quick here in round two. We're gonna find out how much stamina uh, Mohammed Shushan has and if he's still able to throw those power shots or not. And we're also going to find Fighters. out if Goldberg is going to be able to capitalize if he can't. Second round. Here we go. Round two underway. See if we can get our questions answered. Still got some power in that right hand, but I noticed that he was breathing real heavy. It seems like he's still packing a powerful punch, though. Big Mike telling him to get busy in there. Oh, boy. Here comes Goldberg, perhaps sensing his... Oh, he just crossed his eyes! Did you see that shot? What a bomb that was! I almost saw the soul of Goldberg's leave his body. 
Well, now things are really getting interesting in there. I was wondering if Shushan had the stamina or not. But Goldberg's is hurt in there. I mean, he took a heck of a shot, and his legs have gone stiff here almost. He is very wobbly in there. Oh, well, things are really getting interesting now, folks. As we approach the halfway point of round number two, it's anyone's ball game at this point. If Goldberg eats another big shot like this, it's game over, but wait just a minute now. That was a slip over there. Oh boy, Shushan is also exhausted. Oh, and he's taking some punishment now against the ropes. He's not responding. And the referee steps in and delivers an eight count. Both guys are ripe for the pickings here. Oh boy, he, he does not have his balance about him. Is, is, is he gonna let this thing go on or not? He's extremely wobbly at this point. This is not time for a heart-to-heart -heart conversation here. He, he can either fight or he can't. What is it? This one is not for the... He's still fighting back, I don't believe it! Where does he get the power from? He looked right over at me that time, he heard me. Oh, and a foot right in the face! The only thing holding him up at that point was the ropes. This is the second time now that the referee has had to interject himself. And that's it, that's the right call. This kid's on Dream Street. Wow, what an exciting fight that was. I was right on the edge of my seat, ladies and gentlemen, the whole time. Oh, you could just feel that something very, very bad had the potential to happen in that one. And I'll tell you what, I am glad that uh, things were not worse than they turned out to be because it, it, it could have been that somebody could have sustained some kind of permanent uh, injury from that one. The way they were slugging it out and the way they were throwing bombs in there. Let's take another look at some highlights from round two and how this thing ended. Uh, Shushan blasted uh, Goldberg's. <laughs> one of the best shots I've seen in a while. That's the shot right there. He, he clocked him and his eyes rolled back in his head. Look at that. <laughs> Guy it looks like he's seen a ghost. Oh, and then as time went on, Goldberg's made a comeback and Shushan just didn't have anything left. And the referee did the right thing and, and called it off. Let's get the official word here in just a moment from Ritz Kuzmenka. Ladies and gentlemen, KOK World Series in Riga 2021. We are live. KOK Super Fight. At the second round, after 2 minutes 43 seconds by technical knockout, the winner is... Red Corner, Einars Goldbergs, Latvia! Oh, great fight there. So entertaining. So fun to watch. And ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, perhaps I think the fight that could steal the show here tonight. Volodymyr Hinzu of Ukraine taking on Chico Kwase of Holland. Coming up next.